Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I am sharing another DIY chalk paint project with you guys. Hopefully you're not sick of them yet, but quarantine. So I'm just revamping all the furniture in my house. This project I actually started like months and months ago. Um, and I just am getting around to like fixing it the way that I wanted to. So you guys will see that process throughout the video. I It's my dining room table and I chalk painted it, I don't know, probably before Christmas. And then you'll see the process that I take you through. And I redid the chairs and all of that, which was like an epic fail the first go round. And then I ended up changing them. And you'll see all that throughout the video. So hopefully you guys aren't sick of seeing these videos yet because I redid my dresser, my hutch. I'll link a couple of the other videos that I have done down below. But to me, rather than going and buying brand new furniture or any of that, if I can try to revamp it a little bit and give it new life and save the money, because I still have kids at home and stuff gets ruined and I just don't want to invest that money right now anyways into new furniture. And if I can give it new life and get another couple years use out of it, then I'm all game. So hopefully you guys enjoy these videos, but let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, guys, we are getting ready to chalk paint this table and try to bring some life back to it. We've had this table for probably almost 10 years. We got it for a couple hundred bucks at a thrift store like I said, almost 10 years ago, and it has definitely seen its better days. It is pretty banged up on the sides, and the top is just a mess. And so I have this chalk paint here, which I actually painted my hutch with some time ago. So it's this, I love the way that it turned out. This is the Kilts chalk paint, and then I just have this Waverly chalk paintbrush that I got at Walmart. I've already cleaned the table off. I just used this um, Wood for Good Daily Cleaner with the microfiber cloth. And then I used this like sticky tack. I forget what this called. I'll look it up for you guys. But just to get any extra stuff off of it or dust or anything, it worked really good when I did the hutch. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing the first coat of chalk paint on here. So I have put three coats on here and it has a full beautiful coverage. Now I'm just gonna take this sandpaper here and just go around the edges and kind of distress the and accentuate the parts that I want. There's no rhyme or reason to how I do this on any of the furniture that I have done so far. I just go until I think it's enough and I think it looks good. And then you'll see in a second that I'm gonna put some triple thick polyurethane on it, which you will see later that I end up adding more to it and I'll explain why in just a few minutes, but I'm gonna go through here and just distress what I want and then put the first coat of the triple thick on it.
Okay, so here is a before shot of the chairs. They are absolutely ugly, just to put it simply. Not only are they beat up and just put through the ringer and look like a hot mess, but they're just ugly anyways. I never really liked the cushions as long as we had them or the exact style. But anyways, I have this chalk paint here. This is what I initially paint them with and then you'll see how I end up changing it. I got this faux leather from Walmart and I forget exactly how much it was, but I think I got the whole piece for less than 20 bucks and I still have a bunch left. So if I need to like fix one down the road or whatever, and they were super easy, which you'll see how we put them on here in just a second. So I'm gonna cover the cushions and I'm gonna paint with that chalk paint and then you'll see what I end up doing with them ultimately in the end. And here we just took the super easy lazy route for these cushions. Um, we just stapled them over, cut it, and then kind of just pulled them tight on the corners. And I watched one tutorial of how to do the corners, so they definitely weren't perfect. And my husband just stapled them on and then we trimmed them up. We didn't even pull the old stuff off. We just left that on and went right over it. So it was super simple, cheap, easy, and they turned out awesome. second go at this so I've already did this once which I've probably previously talked about in the video but we are in quarantine now and I wanted to redo like touch up a few spots so when I did it the first time I just chalk painted you've already seen all of that process distressed it and then I only did one coat of the triple thick um, polyurethane on it and this is way too traffic to only have one coat so I have learned throughout my projects that you definitely need a couple coats of that on if it's like a super highly trafficked area. Plus my little guy got some marker on it, but because it's chalk painted and distressed, it's super easy to fix. So I just went over it with another coat of chalk paint and then just kind of where it was already distressed, it was like easy just to re-distress. So I've already done that here and now I am about to do two coats of the triple thick. And I've shown this before, but I use this tack cloth here. It's really sticky to make sure that any of the dust from distressing it is off. I wipe it with the rag microfiber cloth and then do it with this tack cloth really good. And this is the triple thick polyurethane that I am gonna do two coats now on the tack. And also, I'll briefly touch on the chairs here. I redid them, and the first time, as you have already seen, I tried to chalk paint them like a light gray, and it just looked absolutely horrible. I'll try to insert a clip of them fully painted like that. That's 
so what I ended up doing was just using this oil rubbed bronze spray paint and I just sprayed all of the chairs and then of course I redid the seat cushions which look like night and day different so but with them being dark like this it goes absolutely perfect with the table and I love it. guys so that will do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching the process as i went through and i had an epic fail as you saw with the chairs and i hated the way that the first original um paint job turned out it was way too light to go it was like a light gray and it was way too light up against the table it just clashed it didn't look good and the spray paint won't last forever but it definitely does the trick and as dark as they are with the new seat covers and everything up against the table it looks really good and i love the way that it turned out and I can always redo them later if they start to mess up or whatever. So I love the way that it all turned out. And I hope you guys did too. And like I said, I have a couple other videos of furniture that I've chalk painted. I've done a hutch. The last one I did was my bedroom dresser, which I absolutely love. That's probably one of my favorites, how it turned out. And I will link all those down below. But I'm definitely knocking off projects during this time that we have home. If you guys are too, let me know down below. And it also helps with just staying busy. I know a ton of people that watch me for like fitness and stuff here and on Instagram. They all are struggling with like snacking a lot and everybody's talking about the quarantine 15. Um, but I definitely find that keeping busy and like doing projects and stuff definitely helps you like steer away from the refrigerator and stop snacking. So I definitely recommend it for that. And then you're also knocking projects out in your house and that feels good and getting stuff done and all of that good stuff. So let me know what you guys are taking this time to do down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you are on Instagram, tag me if you're doing any projects over there and let me know over there as well. I'll pop my handle on the screen here and it's always linked down below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would hit the thumbs up button and comment down below and let me know what was your favorite part. And also, if you are new around here and this is your first time stopping by, I would love it if you'd hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell. That way, whenever I post any other projects that I have coming up or bonus videos on the weekends, then you guys won't miss out on those notifications from YouTube. So you got to make sure that little bell is clicked. Again, thank you so very much for watching and I will catch you on the next one.